the title of this mini-podcast is Death of the Onion. Ever peel an onion? The interesting thing is, when you get down to the last layer, there's nothing left to peel away. An apple has a core, a peach has a pit, and a grape has a seed, but an onion has nothing at the core. That's what happens when you peel away your illusion. You remove one layer at a time until there's nothing left. That empty space is you. Many people are afraid to peel away their illusion, the self that they made up and got comfortable with, because they're afraid of what they'll find. There's nothing tangible or definable when your illusion is gone, but what's left is more real than any layer you remove. What's left is the emptiness out of which everything is born. The ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu called it the Tao. When you peel your illusion apart, there will be unsettledness in you. It's the storm before the calm. Did you ever notice that if you're caught in a storm, you have to deal with it? Pretending it's not there doesn't work, and fighting with it is pure comedy. Moving through the storm is the only option that gets you to a calmer climb. Ruffled feathers are a sign that your illusion has been peeled at. Who's really responding to the stimulus that got your Irish up? Is it the peaceful you or the conditioned you? Someone may be playing the role of antagonist in your movie. Their part may be scripted so that you can begin to peel away your layers of learned responses to reach the infinite you. Your response to other people helps you find out more about yourself. If you respond by defending your illusion, you'll never peel deep enough to have a good cry. If you get curious about what other responses you could have past the conditioned ones, you're beginning the peeling process. It takes courage to peel away our layers because our illusion dies in the process. This death of the onion is our springboard to life. All the best, John.